got everybody Earl here. Uh, so I'm substituting for E this week because he got other shit to do. So I'm out here doing it. Um, I'm his cousin, by the way. My name's Earl. Uh, actually, Jimmy Joe, Jim Bob, Earl Jr. Uh, last name is no accord to y'all. Um, it's hot in here. Give me a second. So what we're going to be doing today is he, he got me a list. And he said I need to talk about books that are so bad they is good. Um, I don't know about all that right there because words and shit. I don't know nothing about that, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this here list and we're going to go through it. I'm going to try to explain to you why these books here is so good, that the, so, so bad, so bad, so bad that it's good. Um, it's kind of like big old hog maw. You just want to like, it, it look nasty as hell. But when you actually get in there and start sucking the meat and juices, when you start sucking the meat and juices off of it, it just, it tastes so good. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is some James Patterson. Love me, good James Patterson. You ever seen his movies? There's the one about the the detective, um, Blackfeller. Uh, one about that, um, and then there's another one about a detective, and... Uh, the guy's name, uh, Medea, I think, uh, he makes movies and he, he, he cross-dresses. Weird. Anyway, so, uh, but there's movies about Patterson books, and, um, so we're gonna get into here. And it, this is, this book is called Invistible. It's a James Patterson book, but he didn't read, he didn't read this book. Who read the book was, was David Ellis. David Ellis, this book will make your jaw drop, because it's stupid. Uh, man, this book, this book denser than a bucket of cement and twice as bright, half as bright. I ain't bright neither. Okay, uh, to, to, to the Casper family, who gives a shit, right? All right, so let's get in here. Uh, there's some stuff, uh, there's some words, uh, that I'm trying to find, but this book dumb, dumb as hell. It was, uh, so, so the line is... The orange flames rippling across the ceiling above me, dancing around my bed almost in rhythm, a taunting staccato popping and crackling, like it's not a fire, but a collection of flames working together. Isn't that what a fire is? I mean, I've had plenty of fires out, out, out back in the homestead. It's a fire is a bunch of flames working together. This book dumb. Next up, at number four, F four, we got four, we got Mind Blue by the Swisters of Sorrow, a slaughter, slaughter, them sisters, them sisters is Michelle Garza and Melissa L L L L L L Lasso, um, so the book, it goes, uh, hang on, these words is funny, um, so these are lines from the book, and, uh, it's about a penis, Y'all seen a penis before? Mind about you. Okay, so uh, um, anthropomorphic penises. Uh, this is a line from the book. His manhood shrunk back and hung there in disappointment and concern. His penis was concerned and disappointed. But, but that ain't it. It shrunk back, but it hung there. Feller, you ever had a hanging issue when your shit shrunk? I don't think I ever had a hanging issue when my shit shrunk. Boy, if your shit is hanging and it shrunk, you got a mandingo size wanger, don't you? Next up, we're going to throw that cover up right... Ooh, that's fancy. That's fancy. What the... Huh? Okay, so this one's called a Rama. Aram. A Rama. A -ma. Oh, boy. Uh, Aramata. Ar, ara, ara, ara. This one is a arama, aramata, aramata. All right. It's a book by by Ernest Kleins, and he he writes books for Funko Pops. So what he does is he gets all his Funko Pops together, and he has a fight. And then when that fight's over with, he writes a book about that fight, and that is armada. I said it right. There, damn, you hear me? Armada. I'm impressed to find is what I am. <laughs> and 
And then that number two. It's two of them. No, it's just one of them. But it's that number two. We have Jerusalem by this Gandalf looking mother. Oh, Lord Jesus, look at that. That's the kind of face make you want to go to church, you know. He's got them devil worshiper eyes. So this book right here, we don't talk about numbers. This book right here got 1,279 pages. That's almost as much as my wife weighs. Oh my God. This book about as heavy as her too. Brenda, put the goddamn biscuits down, y'all. Alright, so uh, the final cover's coming soon because because that E fella, my cousin, E, uh, that, that stingy bastard, he didn't buy this book. He got this book for review. It what happened, so. Um, but Jerusalem, that's where, um, that's where Jesus was born, I believe. So, uh, so Jesus is not in this book. This book ain't even about Jesus. But Lord, it's, it's, it's bad. This guy writes with big old words and just, just sentences made no sense whatsoever. But he finished the book. I hear that he finished the damn book. All 1,200 pages of it. He read the whole thing. It's like 600,000 words. That's more words than I've never said in my whole lifetime. This guy done wrote a book about all the stuff that he want, he wanted to be taken seriously. What happened, folks? Um, he wanted to be taken seriously, and here we are having to read this bullshit. But there's a good book in here somewhere. Right smack dab in the middle of the book, there's a good book about the Nin hat. Nin? Nin? I better watch the way I say that, because that's... That might be a bad word. Nin, nin hag. Um, there's the good book in there about nin hag and some, some childrens, some childrens, the boys and whatnot. But this book, if you're gonna follow through with it, you might get to the end of it and you might be confused and you might say to yourself, "Hey, I finished that book. It must have been good." But Lord, no, it wasn't no good. Wasn't nothing good by it. No, gee, no. But if you want to, you can go read all these reviews that they talk about in this, this right here. You can run on over to Goodreads and read E's uh, uh, written out thoughts and stuff. Very weird how y'all do that. You take some words and put them down on paper and then you just imagine the words and shit. I don't know why y'all readers be doing that stuff. But finally, finally, at the number one book, so bad they is good. You can't even get this one anymore. In fact, hold on. I gotta go dig it out the trunk. Ugh. Oh Lord, my sciatica working up and all different kinds of shit. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. Man, bring the better hurry up with them biscuits. I'm be mad. Okay. All right. Oh shit. Ugh. Ugh. Probably need to cut all that out even when you're doing the editing. But at the number one spot is Dastardly Bastard by Edward Lorne. This book's so bad, y'all. This book don't make no lot of sense. They got the moon and the sun and the sky at the same time. They got they got uh, a people in the book. It don't make no sense. Just people. Just people doing stuff from what I hear. They're on, they're on a trail. And this book ain't even for sale no more. This book's so bad, y'all. Ain't even for sale no more. So he done took it down because he embarrassed himself putting it up there. So yeah, but this book, it's got a, a wee little guy in it. It's got a, got a guy named Donald. He about this big. Just did, no, he, he, he bigger than that. He's like a munchkin from the Wizard of Oz. Then the book opens up, he's got this big old fat dude, like my wife Brenda, big old fat guy. Oh, uh, he's 600 pounds. Book opens up. Look, look, this sorry son of a bitch and signed his own book. Who the hell signs his own book? Don't make no sense. Book so bad, it's good, y'all. All right, so let me, let me read you the first sentence. Mark Simmons was sweating. Kind of like me right now, sweating, wheezing, and feeling every bit of his 500 pounds as he stepped off court. Hey, ain't nobody stepping off nothing when they 500 pounds. They just falling down is what they doing. As soon as they step off anything, they go from walking to falling. But anyways, have you read any of these books? Uh, do you have any of them there books that is so bad that they is good? Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I've been Earl. That's it. I don't do his outro. Y'all get the hell out of here. Y'all ain't welcome. Brenda, them biscuits done, girl. <laughs> yeah, all the all the random cuts you saw throughout this video is because I was I was dying. Um, I was dying laughing. Anyway, so if you guys enjoy this, let me know down in the. Ooh, it's so dark. It's so dark in here. <laughs> Bye.